kind of a god what kind of a god weeps when his wife dies right don't mess with shiva that kind of a thing shakti represents prakriti uh, nature yeah but shiva represents the masculine this is exactly jo log bolte hain ki bulaava aaya bulaava that's that's bulaava aaya but you have to take it you take it up there morning guys morning from the mountains we are in himachal in shangar and since we are in the pahad and since we are in this wonderful spiritual place i have omi with me and we we got to be talking about lord shiva mahadev so before we start what to is like let's start go back to childhood okay what was the first thing that if you re- want to remember was about shiva what do you remind or what what do you remember there are there are so many memories man i mean uh, first is the tandav shiv tandav then uh, of course the story of ganesha how you know he was guarding the door for uh, parvati ma and that memory is there and then the shivling of course and there was a spear okay the, the you know there's the snake and uh, the water coming out ganga so there was you know there was it was something quite you don't mess with shiva that kind of a thing so why my world is the artists who draw shiva yeah or the ones who do the sculpture okay they follow a certain rituals right. because the first thing that when you see shiva it should hit to you is masculinity oh yes because shiv shakti right shiva represents like shakti represents prakriti nature yeah but shiva represents the masculine form of energy true yeah and that is what i remember i remember this calendar of you know my aunt had got from hyderabad and the image of shiva it absolutely evokes a raw masculine form of energy mm. you know which is purely kind of you know it, it gives you that that blue uh, you know color of his you know, like kind of it gives you a different piece and you know, calmness but tell me what how did you like you know i know i have my story what, which which i want you to share yeah what got you <clears throat> what what do you feel about shiva and my so um yeah as you as you rightly said for me lord shiv is uh, all about discipline it's about responsibility and there's also a form where he shows vulnerability you know so i think these three aspects of uh, shiv bhagwan has really gotten to me and the more i read about it the more i'm you know meeting people who uh, who are you know much more uh, devoted towards shiva uh, the more i realize that you know it's it, there is such a strong force i will now like you know to highlight this one here vulnerability we had a wonderful movie you know uh, some days back uh, i won't name the movie because the context is quite clear where someone from the opposite side you know it says what kind of a god what kind of a god weeps when his wife dies right the point is they show that in that movie when people ask questions like this people like us either choose not to respond or probably we don't have an answer yeah to which i will like to respond here very powerfully if your god does not experience pain you will not go to him when you are in pain yeah when sati dies what shiva goes through even though is a god he experiences pain like a mortal because yeah. see love is a feeling right irrespective of you being a god irrespective of you being a human you will experience it so right. when people question this thing what kind of a god experiences pain i feel the real one a right. real god can only understand our pain when he himself goes through it correct i think that is one thing that i you know strongly wanted to say when that dialogue came in and there was no response from that person and you know then people start saying okay now let's look into another faith why look into another faith if you have read like the problem is people read books right they don't understand them they right. don't try to assimilate them. right so this is for me you know shiva the best thing about shiva is it's a formless worship right you know the linga or you know a ghori's worship shiva the right the energy that the god ev- evokes in a person it's something which cannot be defined so <clears throat> just to go off in a tangent side tangent since you mentioned shakti and since we are in himachal pradesh this is just my observation 
uh, what i've seen is that sanatan dharm is very prevalent here um and people here worship nature prakriti so they see the it's a feminine energy devi energy uh they worship the the trees the sky the sun nature basically and uh it's a very uh i would say very raw form of worship like when when we live in the cities to hum log kya you know we go to functions and pujas and satsangs and what not but yahan pe it is it is a very very raw form and it's still preserved in you know traditions that have been passed on through generation to generation so it's something shivas home a board is in the mountains yeah, yeah yeah so of course whenever there are mountains his energy is bound to be there there is man i mean uh, you you feel that i'm just saying it or people you know listening you have to come to the mountains to experience his energy it's amazing there is just you know how um, say a, a piece of iron is attracted you know to a magnet that is what energy is point is you come to the mountains but you keep your gadgets at home so that is very important because when you come to the mountains and you do the same thing that you're doing at home it makes no difference to it's ironic that we are recording a podcast in the mountains but, but that's what we are trying to do right we are trying to say reach out to people and say like you know, go out to the mountains but keep the one, the things that distract you right the ones that you always stuck up at home keep it aside for some time correct so what are the so coming back to the topic so what are your life learnings uh, through lord shiva and uh, through mahadev so uh, you been you been to all the links uh, the so firstly uh, i'll start from the very uh, yeah. my kul devi is uh, mangeshi right mangeshi is the biggest temple in goa right so mangeshi is a form of shiva okay okay and that is the photo that i always remember because we have a photo of mangeshi uh, at our home and that is uh, if you see that photograph it is very different from the normal shiva he, he has a beard he has the hair like he has untamed hair okay right. he has the snake around his and right. he has a moon crescent right. moon okay so that photo is something that i've grown up as a child yeah. okay i've been to like uh, you know mangeshi as a child i've gone every year okay yeah. so when i was a kid i just did what i was told to in college if you remember we had turned into i don't know we, i can't say atheist but yeah. we both used to challenge the fact that 100% was there a god 100% and now we reach a stage of life where you know we truly believe in it 100%. so that's a what's called a religion so my uh, kind of you know i started with mahakal okay uh, mahakal and ujjain i have not completed all the jyoti links uh, but i have i have i every year start my you know kind of year going to mahakal something very positive about it is it just falls in place right someone is going to ujjain i get a call like you know are you would you be able to join in and i just go so you know it's 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 a sort of a fact that i have grown up to ki mere ko har jan fir mein call aayega ujjain ke jana hai this is exactly jo log bolte hain ki bulawa aaya bulawa that's that's bulawa aaya but you have to take it up. you take it up yeah and i think i mean i have explored the ones in maharashtra yeah. uh, i've been to gelneshwar lately uh, one of the most uh, farthest that i have been to is the one in jharkhand baba bedna okay. okay and uh, I think all these jyotilings have had the same effect on me. They've been, they, you know, it's been very positive. Yeah. One that I really want to do is uh, Shri Sailam in Hyderabad. Yeah. Okay. So I hope I am able to do Shri Sailam soon. And uh, I would just like Kedar. Kedar not of course. Every like all the jyotilings have their own, uh, you know, kind of a. Every journey is going to be different. Yeah. But I hope to do them. No, in the next ten years, I have right. kept a longer target. So, I have done at least four to five, seven, five to six more pending. Right. So, just to close out this particular uh, video slash podcast, if you're listening to you know to this on an audio platform, what is the message to all the people who have Lord Shiva as a Ishta Devta? What What is the message that you want to share with all of them? Don't just remember him when you are in trouble. Don't just remember him when you are in pain. whenever there is a happiness whenever you are kind of celebrating whenever you you know kind of experience joy yeah. it is because of him okay and i would say 
uh, that is what I learned. So what I do is every Monday after workout, you know, I go out to the uh, Swayambhu Shiv Mandir. Swayambhu Shiv Mandir. I place the Datura because yeah. uh, the Datura is a fruit which is very toxic. Okay, right. so that is something that you can offer to the god so that all the negative energy and and all the toxic that you have will go out from mm. your you know. So that is that part of day is something which is very special to me. I have to do it. Yeah. Go out to Swayambhu Temple. So I would say take out some time. Go out to the temple, okay. Whatever you want to offer, and when you come out, okay, there are these like kind of certain people who very like you know they stick out there. Give them whatever you have, like it can be five rupees, ten rupees. But that is your moment when you are kind of you know probably giving to someone, you know. That is how I start my Monday, and I really my week. I won't say it goes great, but it gives me the energy to go back. Mm. Fantastic. All right, so that is it for this particular uh, uh, video. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope uh, you guys like, share, and subscribe. And we'll be coming up with more content like this in the future. Until next time, this is Ajay Menon, and that's Omi signing off for today. See ya.